On to other news now, Kerala Transport Minister Thomas Chandy has resigned, making him the third minister to resign from the left government under opposition pressure in the last one and a half years. The businessman and politician was under attack for the past month from the opposition Congress-led UDF and the BJP over charges that a luxury resort at Kutanad in Alapura district owned by him had allegedly encroached backwaters and violated land rules. Mr. Chandy, a three-time MLA of the NCP from Kutanad, had joined the Pinarai Vijayan cabinet in April. Right by the side of this beautiful Vembanad backwaters is this stretch of land we are standing on which is meant for paddy cultivation. But according to RTI responses, this land, around three acres of land, has been owned by a company which is chaired by Thomas Chandy. Till April, this plot had a board saying Lake Palace Resort, which is owned by Thomas Chandy. The illegal filling in land meant for agricultural activities allegedly continued even after Thomas Chandy became a minister in April. But on the 11th of May, revenue officials issued a stop memo. Sherijum, Adeham, Perta Nima Machiranangil, Sarkari was two Mandar to the end of the very Thomas Chandy Kesarikan done, either very Kesaratilla. Yani got ten Shasha, April Mass and then a stopomo or two, a stopomo or ten Shasham, a very other Korso, so they get Nurtivachu, other Shasham wind to Purva, the Sakti or Nakaparanola, wind to every whistleblower, a former CPM loyalist, now an independent panchayat secretary, filed a complaint based on RTI responses, which confirmed. The plot owned by Water World Tourism Company run by Thomas Chandy allegedly encroached on five acres of government land and stretches meant for public passage. The issue is much more grave because the encroachment of public road as well as Porambok land by the minister Thomas Chandy is reported by the revenue authorities. The minister's company has encroached the public road and Porambok land and illegally converted the wetland which is a part of the Ramsar site and encroached into the public road and started construction of his private resort. With camera person SP Babu, Sneha Koshi for NDTV. Sneha joining us for more on this big story. Now Sneha, we're talking about someone who's already famous as, or infamous, should I say, as Kerala's richest lawmaker. Uh, um, in fact, the court took him to task uh, 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 um, uh, for the fact that he had petitioned uh, against his own government as well. What is all of this going to mean really uh, for the ruling uh, LDF in, in the state? Ankita, this comes as a big embarrassment for the left government for a couple of reasons. One, this is the third resignation in just one and a half years since the LDF government came to power in Kerala. It's the third minister who is resigning. The, the first minister resigned on charges of nepotism. The second, uh, after he was caught uh, on record having a sleaze conversation with a woman. And third minister now on charges of alleged corruption. But also how it needs to be seen is uh, there is a public perception that the Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan went softer on Thomas Chandy in comparison to the earlier ministers who were asked to resign immediately. Now, uh, Thomas Chandy is uh, an ally, part of the NCP, ally of the LDF, the richest legislator in Kerala. He also went to court challenging the district collector's petition that we brought a special story on, say uh, the district collector's report, um, and the court came down heavily on him saying, how can you go against your own government? The NCP top leaders say that the reason why Thomas Chandy resigned today is not because of the corruption allegations against him, but is because of the perception that became even more severe between the LDF allies and that the allegations against Thomas Chandy has not been proven but he got he resigned just on the moral grounds and because the situation was even deteriorating further that's what the NCP has to say uh, Pinrai Vijayan Chief Minister of Kerala apparently made it clear to Thomas Chandy today morning that the way forward has to be a resignation but meanwhile the opposition which has been demanding the resignation of Thomas Chandy has said that this is coming in too late all right Sneha, thank you for those details